Michael Jordan may not be the greatest player of all time. Michael Jordan may be the greatest system player of all time. When you look at a team sport, greatness can carry you to win. But I remember Karl Malone, Gary Payton, Kobe Bryant, and Shaquille O'Neal losing in a finals against the Detroit Pistons, who the only Hall of Famer on the whole team was their center who didn't even score. Because scoring is so fucking important. <laughs> Defense wins championships. Rebounding wins championships. Jordan, when he doesn't have an elite defender slash rebounder at the power forward, not only does he not go to the finals, he don't even compete. People love to throw Horace Grant under the bus. Oh, he was just a role player. Horace Grant is 18th all time in offensive rebounds. That means in the history of basketball, 20 niggas can't rebound better than Horace Grant. Michael Jordan had that nigga on his team with Scottie Pippen and Phil Jackson's triangle offense. He win anything without the triangle offense? No. He win anything without Scottie Pippen? No. You'll go, well, he won without Horace Grant. When they lost Horace Grant, Horace Grant went to the Orlando Magic. You know who Jordan lost to that year? The Orlando Magic. <laughs> the Orlando Magic went to the finals. But they were like, nah, he won without Horace Grant. The next season, Michael Jordan went and they got Dennis Rodman, who has eight all defensive teams, twice as many as Horace Grant and two defensive player of the years and is the fifth all-time offensive rebounder of all time. They just took one piece and plugged it with an even better piece. And when Jordan lost that year and Horace Grant went to the finals to get swept, the team that the Rockets beat to go to the finals were who? The San Antonio Spurs. Who was on that team? Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman and Horace Grant made it further than Michael Jordan the year Michael Jordan didn't have an elite big who could rebound and play defense. That's how good Dennis Rodman and how valuable defense and rebounding is. You know who a real best player of that time truly is? A player who you can get and build a team around and it really pans out to be a winning player? Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem Olajuwon came in the same year and while Jordan was getting swept in 1986, Hakeem Olajuwon, who went to a worse team in the Rockets, was in the finals. In the finals against Larry Bird and the Celtics, you know, the one Jordan has never beaten, never gotten a game off of. He took them six games as the best player on the team, leading his team in points, rebounds, steals, and blocks. And when Jordan decided to quit, Hakeem Olajuwon picked up two more rings leading his team in points, rebounds, steals, and blocks. Who is the guy who's really driving his team to success? He didn't even have the same guys or the same type of guys in all of his time winning. That's how you determine what player is responsible for his team's success. So Jordan, in all of his wins, has had one of the best defensive and rebounding power forwards of all time, one of the best defensive wings and point forwards of all time, the greatest coach of all time, and he dished off the Paxson to drain the shot to win the title. Paxson shot over 50% from the field while with the Bulls. It helps when you're getting doubled, you can kick to a guy who shoots over 50%, but he didn't have packs in the whole time, that is true. He had Steve Kerr the second time, who shoots over 50% from the field, who hit the game-winning shot. Baby, it's spaghetti. <laughs> it's the same recipe every time. If he doesn't have one of those, name a time he won. Name a time he got close. Name a time he was competitive. You can't name it because this nigga not a winner for real. He was a part of a winning formula.
good for him. Nice shoes. <laughs> LeBron James has shown you going to the Western Conference Finals with a nigga who's never coached. Darvin Ham's first year went to the Western Conference Finals. All LeBron does is drag niggas <laughs> to where they need to go. Win more than a team should probably ever win. That's what he does. That's what the best player does. It's what you can do with whatever parts that makes you great. Only winning one way your whole career is greatness? No thank you, my nigga. If I can only win if I have all the right pieces, you're not a fucking winner. You're the best piece to a winning formula. Congratulations. This isn't even a conversation. There's no way you can hear what I just told you and still come to the conclusion that this nigga is really the reason why they 6-0 in titles. But I'll let you try. No further, Your Honor. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Davis.